Yo, what's up? It's Omni Sonic Theory. This is the 8th of Dope exclusive. We hooked up and uh, wrote mm -hmm. songs for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. And then worked on it. And then, then I we made, played that. Then we played that May the Eighth show or whatever. And James. Yeah, we played a, played a. We had a skate park that some some of our good friends opened up and we played a show there. As, confirm, James. As confirm. Yeah. <laughs> and then we met James from that. Yes. And then I met this dude. He fucking broke down my park. Like, tried to on fire. Truck on fire. <laughs> and he was like, "Yo, you play drums." Yeah, that's kind of how that shit happened. He's, he stuck around, you know. We've pretty much been in the building for a long time writing songs and uh, doing our first album. And we produced and recorded ourselves. And we just got it finished about four months ago. And we've been out and played, I guess, three or four shows up to this point. Yeah, yeah. that's about right. Then Lake Charles, uh, we came before last. About to come the 16th and kill it. People hate silence, pick it up. That's right. <laughs> you get it. When you see us on the streets, ask us yeah, about it because it's not in stores. If you ain't got no money, we'll probably give you one. It's cool. iTunes and Amazon. It's yeah, it is available. It is available digitally. Track by track or the whole album. Yeah, you can, uh, you can go to our SoundCloud and check out four songs there. And that has links to where you can buy the album at CD Baby. Yeah, available iTunes, uh, Google Play Store. Yeah. And Amazon, anywhere, everywhere in the universe. Yeah, and I mean, I always hit up the Facebook. Do you hit up the Facebook? You know, you're talking to all of us, so let us know you want a physical copy. Shoot the address. We get one out to you. Murder! <laughs> How much time you got on that it thing? Was <laughs> It was, yes. just, it's, it was it was an experience, man. It was really for all two, of us. Two I years had, of that is recording the album. I, I did, dude. Yeah. I did. I did a lot of hip hop. So like the extent of like I mean, we were, we used to make beats and do production, mm -hmm. but I was doing recording vocal tracks, you know. And so like this is my first, not only like full regular band, you know, guitar, bass, and drums, but with extra shit with pianos and fucking congas, and it was an undertaking, man. You know, we we really wanted the songs to be good. And so we did take our time, you know, everybody made sure they played exactly what they wanted and we, we left nothing out, man, you know, it, a lot of times I know with people's music, they oh, I wish I could have did this, I wish I could have did that. I, I think with this album that we did, we got everything we wanted to do in it, you know, we wanted to do uh, crazy transition stuff between the tracks and like give people a taste of what we're like just jamming in the room with the mic, you know, so we got to do that. Um, we got to do some cool work with a, a good friend of ours, Red. It, uh, did some like radio hosting voice for us with some nice interludes and uh, 
it was really nice, man. Uh, we still had some things to get together, like e press kits and like you know bullshit that we have to do for the band to be able to play out. But I mean, we, we try to book show as many shows as possible, uh, get the word out about the band, and try to play with a lot of different kinds of bands and different you know different genres of music. So we'll yeah. play wherever, hit a lot of different people up. You know? We're always working on trying to get tighter. Yeah, always practicing. Yeah, we practice. Trying to always, get better. Always get new music. And right, always you know, writing new music. Yeah, we've yeah, almost yeah. got enough material for another album. Yeah, so that's. We just just keep moving forward, man. And uh, yeah, we, I, I want to play a lot of shows. We do like to keep writing, though. You know, it, it, at the base of it, it's all about the music. Right. And so we definitely want to keep it fresh for everybody. Uh, but at the same time, we do want to turn people on to it. Yeah, yeah. So we got to get out there and do it. Well, we originally started as a hip hop band, trying to go in the hip hop direction. But I don't think anybody could actually, like on drums and things like that, guitar, nobody knew what to do in, in a hip-hop way. And so it it stopped being a hip-hop band and just started being like, what can you do on your particular instrument? Where do you come from, your background? Yeah. And it just kind of, it gelled like that. It became and I, something else other than what we yeah. originally intended to start. And I've, I've always been down for whatever, you know, I, I come from the hip-hop stuff, but if they're gonna write some crazy time signature with some double pedals in it with a metal song, I mean, I'll write to that shit too, you know? I mean, it's, it's always been a challenge. We all challenge ourselves to play out of our element and just try to come up with different stuff. So there's almost nothing that, there's almost nothing that our band will bar, you know, if, if the if the riff or the part holds, holds merit, if it's good, you know, I don't, you don't make a shit. We haven't really touched on country yet, but if somebody kills a <laughs> kick-ass acoustic country lick or something, you know, then we're going to play it, dude, yeah. you know? I mean, and nothing, then we'll go straight into a metal riff. It don't matter. Nothing's out of bounds, <laughs> man. And, um, yeah, we didn't want to put any boundaries on ourselves yeah. or try to get lumped in any categories or anything like that. And that's like we said, that, that's where the name comes from, you know? It's, it's omni, it's all things, it's all sonic, it's all sound. All of and things. it's just our theory, our take on that, you know? <laughs> I always try to keep an open mind, man. You know, there's too many, too many people get stuck in genres, dude. I, I think that's a real bad thing. Subgenre of the genre. Yeah, you know, uh, that that, like that that leads into styles and trends and all that kind of bullshit, you know. And just everything, it. everything we play, I, I don't take it would be like necessarily pleasing to everybody's ear, you know, all the time. But it's, it's not about. I hate to say it, it's not about that, you know, it's, if it's the part he wanted to write, it's a, you know, he wants to play it for himself. Yeah, it's can't about playing. We play what we want to hear. Yeah. We play what we want to hear. Yeah. You know? It's kind of a combination of jamming around and each other, each person writing their own riffs or whatever, coming to the table with something, or just jamming. Yeah. It kind of comes together. Like so basically, you're saying you're a you're a fan of your music before an artist. So you play exactly what you want to hear. You're looking at it from yeah, a yeah, fan's exactly. perspective. That's, yeah, that's I ain't never heard it since like that. But yeah, straight up. Sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> straight up. He's one like you guys. <laughs> yeah, cause I, I I never want anybody in this band or myself to like be unhappy playing. Dumb, with yeah, like dumb a part down because it's not like popular. You know, it's not whatever. You know, yeah. fuck that. I'm listening to a lot of Roots, a lot of Queens of the Stone Age, and a lot of old jazz, like Miles Davis and Max Roach and all that. Word. I actually recently got into a lot more hip hop, so even though I play guitar, I'm kind of listening to a lot of hip hop, like like you said, the conscious rapping, things like that, Black Alicious, uh, Tribe Called Quest, uh, Camp Low. I got that CD just the other day. I want to listen to that. Uh, I'm listening to Zero, Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, I've been listening to some of that. <laughs> I've been li I've been listening to hip hop lately. That's what I've been into. Uh, I like soundtracks a lot, so I feel like I come from that big time. Um, I used to listen to a lot of death metal. I still do. I just don't listen to a lot of the new stuff that's out because I've just kind of lost track of it really because there's just so much. It's overwhelming. But yeah, I think my background, personally, I just come from all types of different shit. It's, it's, it'd be hard to lump it up into one particular yeah. genre or, yeah, me too. or what. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause like vocally, I I get influence <clears throat> from like Dez from Devil Driver, uh, stuff like that. I listen to a lot of reggae, uh, Bob Marley, just tons of it, man, and uh, a lot of funk, a lot of uh, Sly and the Family Stone. Uh, I listen to hip hop. Not not a lot. I ain't gonna lie. It's like it's overwhelming to think about the music that you oh, listen yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. It's like it comes in waves. You're like, this so guy, this guy, this yeah. person, this band. I got so much. That, Wait, there's you know, more. I, I just kind of I keep it on like a shuffle. And yeah, like, keep that shit on shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I let it shuffle through everything. That way I can I get a grasp on everything. You know, I don't just burn out one album. I can get a little, little taste of everything. You know, so kind of straightforward. Reggae and metal. Very good. At the moment, for some weird reason, not weird reason, but I've been stuck, I've been listening to the uh, 311 Transistor album a lot, and Deftones Around the Fur a lot, for some reason. And, uh, it's a good album. But it is, you know. That, could be the <laughs> that might be but, why you like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just like them, man. I, I listen to a lot of stuff. I, I, I keep a Pandora station on Bonobo. I urge everybody to do that, because that, that makes a kick-ass Pandora station. Bonobo's and cool. look at check out Bonobo, too. Um, I love me some reggae. I love me some Bob Marley, and uh, I listen to Black and Blue. Same thing, reggae and Bob. And um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I keep the roots in rotation all the time. Black thought was heavy influence for sure, ah! as far as uh, lyrically for me, and uh, uh, rappers in particular like Talib Kweli. You know, Black thought on the South Side of Things. I always like Scarface. You know, and uh, back in the day, like even Lil Kiki and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And so its influences are real broad, man. Outcast, can't forget to say them. Can't forget to say them. Outcast. Everybody likes Outcast. Shit, man. Too many. Too many to outcast. think of. Me, man. You. You. I actually haven't. Yeah. Too. I've been listening to a lot of music lately. I, I haven't had time to with just my job and stuff. So, but I do read a lot. Uh, <laughs> Shout out some books. Shout out some books. I read too. Shout out some books. It kind of uh, uh, inspires me. You know, in his way. His way. Sixteen horsepower. Yeah. James has turned this on to a, a few bands. Uh, yeah. Murder by Death. Yeah. Sixteen, her, 16 Sage horsepower. Francis. Sage, Sage Francis. Francis. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hip hop stuff. If y'all ain't check that dude out, please go check out Sage yeah, Francis. Yeah, he's, he's he's phenomenal. Dude. He's great. Crack pipes. Yeah. yeah. This is great. <laughs> hey, look, that's a spot. You're on it. Oh, shit. I, I, I can't do it. I can't, can't do it. Uh, I can fix I fix do a quote from a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but did you, but, but did you, this stuff. Um, <laughs> Things and such. Go check out uh, facebook.com slash Omnisonic Theory. We got a music store on there. You can go and you can buy the album direct from that site or you can link to CD Baby and uh, iTunes, Google Play Store, and uh, Amazon MP3. Also on uh, soundcloud.com slash Omnisonic Theory. Got four tracks on there you can go check out. And uh, yeah, hope y'all like it. Keep at it. Stay consistent. Practice. With it. it's, you know, Practice. No idea is a bad idea. Play, Keep man. Play it. with a lot of people. Play Damn. with as many people as you can. Yeah. And not to sound corny, but be friends first because it is friends first. Sound about fucking like this. This guy's always telling me like No, just play, <laughs> play, 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 yeah. play with as many people as possible. Yeah. Practice. You know, the more time you spend, the better you're gonna get. Yeah. That's right. And um, do your thing. Be true to yourself. Don't get stuck in no fucking genre. You know. November 16th, the Jitterbugs, Westlake, Louisiana. Uh, Ate the Dope presents, you know. We're going to wreck it for y'all, man. I know so many artists going to be there. I don't even know. I mean, Louis Lou. That's Lou, right. Uh, <laughs> Philly Lou. Doja. Yeah. Uh, Adam I Carmelo, know. Mr. Adam Carmelo. Yeah. Um, damn, who else on there? Scott, Jeffy, all this shit. I mean, yeah, yeah man. Jeffy, fucking Jeffy's in the building all the time, fuck. Uh, 
Yeah, dude. We're really interested in playing this show. It's going to be real fun. It's yeah. going to be uh, it's kind of our new element. It's like what we want to do now. And, uh, you know, a lot of the bands we played with before, it really is straight metal and stuff, and it's not really what we are, and so this is more what we are. So it's going to be fucking cool. It's going to be dope. So we're going to play a goddamn cypher afterwards. Yeah, the cypher, son. We're going to wreck it afterwards. And everybody, if y'all want to step up, Kevin's you know, going to be beatboxing. I know Jeff's going to get up mouth. there. <laughs> That's right. That's right, there. Yeah, yeah. Adrian might even get up there. Yeah, me up there and just spit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to have a cold, so it's going to be I'd like to say thanks to Aether Dope for putting all this on, getting going, and uh, Jerry Bugs for letting me go down, and it's going to be a fun, fun show. It's going to be great. A lot of great Very artists, exciting. a lot of great musicians going to be in, in the building. It's going to be a jam afterwards, so if you've got some spitting skills, hit it up. This is Army Sonic Theory. This has been Eighth the Dope exclusive. Nobody's go. ever gonna interview us. <laughs> <laughs> We're horrible at this. Tonight, we gotta take. Oh.